Abortion rights activists are renewing their call for Raleigh to create buffer zones around abortion clinics in the city. Yeah, this comes after hundreds of anti-abortion protesters surrounded one of those cities. WRL's Matt Talhelm is live in Raleigh to explain how the city is responding to this. Matt. Yeah, Michelle and Chris, Raleigh's mayor tells me city council has actually asked the police chief to make safety around clinics like this one here a priority. She also says that the city attorney is working on all the legal aspects of those buffer zones, which would push protesters further away from these sites. This sounds and looks like a concert with a crowd huddled around a stage. All that you've done for me. Music blaring from a microphone and speakers. It was the highest number of um, anti-abortion protesters we've seen come to the clinic here in Raleigh. Uh Rachel Wynn stood across from them in the driveway to a women's choice abortion clinic where she volunteers to escort patients safely inside. Could you imagine just going to the doctor to do your physical, whatever, and having someone lunge into the street at your car, reaching for your door, trying to get you to stop? She says that happens daily as protesters post themselves along the clinic's Circle Drive, but never in numbers like these. Hundreds of people with anti-abortion church group Love Life marched to the clinic Saturday, flanking the entrance right up to the property line, where no trespassing signs are posted. Wynn and the group Triangle Abortion Access Coalition are calling on the city of Raleigh to create buffer zones to prohibit protests within a certain number of feet from a clinic. We think that a buffer zone just makes sense so that people can access health care and make this decision for themselves and and make it as as simple and safe as possible. WREL reached out to Love Life, which calls these prayer walks. In a statement, the group says we adhere to all city ordinances when doing our prayer walks and have the appropriate permits. Back out here live, this is that circle where you could see all those hundreds of people huddled age that was right here. I did ask Raleigh police if the group had a permit. I have not heard back from them on that. And you did see RPD cruisers in that video. The mayor tells me that was to make sure that this was safe for everyone involved in all this. And now when you look at these buffer zone ordinances, Charlotte actually passed a quiet buffer zone back in 2019, which bans amplified noise near these clinics.